welcome to the Spy Collection. This is Anastasios and in this episode we'll have a look at a Japanese covert listening device from the late 80s, early 90s. This is the X-18 transmitter manufactured and sold by the Japanese Kony Electronics. This device was used by a wide variety of people from intelligence professionals to private investigators and others. It's a very simple FM radio transmitter that can be easily concealed and as we are reading in the rear of the package the device uses a 9.45 volt battery and here it says that it transmits on the range of 87 to 93 mega cycles. Inside the package we have the manual of the device and a small note to avoid fiddling with the frequency screw adjustments after configuration. In the instructions we read a different range of operation 88 to 90 megacycles. And in this package we have the actual bag. The long cable is its antenna and this tiny hole is the microphone. Its body is made out of metal and it has a sliding back that reveals the battery compartment. This is the frequency adjustment screw and unlike the documentation and the package, this one mentions a range of 88 to 108 megahertz. So once configured, the radio operator will just tune the radio receiver to that frequency and listen to whatever is near this listening device. Clearly the discovery of such a bug would have been relatively easy for any TSCM expert, that is technical surveillance countermeasures, mainly for two reasons. Its operating frequency and the fact that it was constantly transmitting. So by scanning in that range, someone would immediately pick it up, regardless of how well it was concealed. Because of those reasons, very few intelligence professionals use this, but it was very popular in the private sector such as private investigators and industrial espionage. As you might have noticed, in this one all the packaging and documentation is in English. That's because it was exported to Australia and later to the United States too. Regardless of its low-tech design, the Kony X-18 was used in real-world espionage and technical surveillance chases in the late 80s, which is unreasonable since the average person is probably not sweeping their home, office and car for concealed bugs, so its discovery would be mostly by coincidence. As always, nothing is as it seems.